I would want to die before my kids. I don't want to see none of my kids. I don't want any parent to have to ever go through this. This is the story of Alana Gallen, a 24-year-old mother whose life was abruptly cut short in a devastating incident at a Toyota dealership in Albany, California. One day while Alana was at work, the father of her child walked up to her and shot her at point-blank range in front of her co-workers. Alana was a dedicated worker at the dealership service department, a caring soul, and a loving mother to her seven-year-old son. Tragically, the circumstances surrounding her death left her son orphaned and the community reeling. Why did this happen, and how could her child's father leave their son without any of his parents? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Albany, California, a peaceful city where a heart-wrenching incident unfolded at a Toyota dealership on September 21, 2023. Here, Alana, a young woman of 24 years, dedicated her time and energy to the service department. Her unwavering commitment aimed to secure a future for her beloved son, King, who was merely seven years old at the time. Regarded by friends and family as a compassionate and dedicated mother, Alana lived for her son, ensuring his comfort and happiness. Her life revolved around creating a nurturing and secure environment for King, working tirelessly to provide for him. She was well loved by co-workers and known for her warmth and dedication to her responsibilities at work. She worked at Toyota for three years, ensuring financial support for her son, while nurturing a strong bond between them. Troubles emerged within the dynamic of Alana's relationship with her son's father, 24-year-old Lamar Walker. Alana's mother, Yuvanda Gallen, emphasized Alana's commitment to distancing herself from her son's father due to his reckless behaviors, prioritizing her son's well-being. Although not in a romantic relationship, they committed to co-parenting, as Alana's primary focus was to foster a healthy co-parenting relationship while prioritizing her son's well-being above all else. On September 21, 2023, tragedy struck at the Toyota dealership where Alana worked. The tranquility of the Toyota dealership was abruptly shattered on that fateful day. An unknown assailant, the alleged shooter, entered the dealership around 11.15 a.m. and, in a tragic turn of events, fatally shot Alana while she was at work. The shooter was none other than her son's father, Lamar. Lamar recently returned to California from Atlanta. It is reported that earlier in the day, he approached Alana with a cup of coffee. The two exchanged words and he left the dealership, the two were not in a relationship, and the nature of the conversation between the two is unclear, but he would return later with a firearm and shoot and kill Alana while she is sitting at her desk. Panicked onlookers frantically dialed 911. Law enforcement arrived on scene with their guns drawn. Lamar was then shot and killed. Alana could have never predicted her baby's father would come into her workplace and take her life. The calm of her daily routine was shattered by senseless violence, leaving her family reeling from the sudden unimaginable loss. The poignant aftermath left her young son without both parents, devastating her friends and loved ones. Tragically, the circumstances and motivations behind the fatal attack remained inconclusive. A comprehensive investigation was immediately set in motion, seeking to unravel the sequence of events leading up to the fatal incident. Yet, little was disclosed about the assailant's motives or the chain of events culminating in Alana's untimely death. We found an open door on the west side of the building. We're going to make entry and work our way. Now at 6, two people are dead in two separate shootings at a Toyota service center in Albany. One of the shootings involving police and the suspect. One woman is dead. The suspect, a man, is also dead. Uh, police did confirm that the woman, the victim, was an employee here at the Toyota Berkeley. That is the name of the business. Um, let's get to some video of the scene earlier in the afternoon. The call came in just before 11.15 this morning for a shooting at the dealership. Well, police say that... Um, they, when they arrived, they found the victim and then were met with gunfire uh, with the suspect. Now, the Berkeley mayor confirms that police did shoot the suspect. On the other hand, Alameda County Sheriff's Office, they are staying tight-lipped on that part of the investigation as they are still combing through um, evidence, a lot of body camera video and witnesses. Uh, meantime, I did speak to a customer who is waiting in the lobby when this all went down. She said she heard at least three gunshots and immediately ran outside with her son and other employees. I also spoke with an employee off camera. He heard his coworker yell someone had a gun and told everyone to get out of the building and find 
coverage boat told me that police arrived on the scene immediately and we did get an update from the Alameda County Sheriff's Office about the ongoing investigation. Take a listen. We have numerous witnesses that said they saw the suspect shoot the woman. So when you have situations where there are witnesses, you have to sort through, you know, their statements and the statements that will follow from the officers involved and put that together to determine what actually took place. Alana's mother, Yvonne Gallen, expressed her frustration over the lack of information provided by the authorities. She recounted waiting for more than six hours at a nearby police station before learning about her daughter's tragic fate. The family was still awaiting details about Alana's belongings and specifics regarding the incident. The mother of a woman who was shot to death at an East Bay car dealership is searching for answers tonight as her family tries to come to terms with the loss of a daughter and mother who leaves behind a young son. Yvonne de Gallen is the mother of 24-year-old Alana Gallen, who was shot and killed by the father of her 7-year-old son, King. According to police, the gunman entered the Toyota dealership on Thursday before noon and shot Gallen. When police arrived, they shot and killed the suspect. But Gallen says right now, there's more questions than answers. Everything was, I don't know, I don't know. We don't have all the information. Gallen said her daughter loved life, but said her priority was her son. Her seven-year-old um, child doesn't have a mother or a father, and that's saddening for me. I told him that his mom and his father was gone. He just laid his head back and said, no, they not. And after that, he's been crying. We all broke out crying. He's been seeing him cry, um, everyone cry. Gallen says her daughter was not in a relationship with her alleged killer at the time of the shooting, but instead that the two were co-parenting King together. Gallen says now both parents are gone, all because of a senseless act. The abrupt loss of Alana left her family and loved ones grappling with profound grief and loss. The shock and emotional devastation reverberated through the entire family, changing their lives forever. Most significantly, the void left for her young son King was immeasurable, forcing family members to confront the emotional fallout and the uncertainty of the future without both parents. In the wake of this tragedy, Alana's mother, Yvonne de Gallen, grappled with her own distress and took steps to address the dire situation. She initiated a GoFundMe campaign to support her grandson King, along with the hefty expenses for therapy. The resounding support from well-wishers poured in, with donations rapidly amassing to provide for King's future and well-being. Yuvanda, faced with the prospect of guiding her grandson through this traumatic loss, voiced her concerns about the emotional toll it would take on both of them. As the GoFundMe gained traction, the community rallied around the Gallen family, empathizing with their plight and the monumental task of supporting a young child through such profound tragedy. The funds gathered on the GoFundMe campaign reached an impressive $54,591, surpassing its goal. These resources would ease the financial burden of therapy for King and lay the foundation for his future, providing a semblance of stability following the turmoil of losing his mother. The loss of Alana Gallen is a reminder of the devastating impact of violence on families. Her family and community are grappling with the profound loss of a vibrant young mother, a life taken too soon. Such incidents call attention to the need for preventive measures and support systems for families affected by such tragedies. The grieving family and friends will need significant support to cope with the emotional aftermath and move forward in the face of such a devastating loss. Alana's tragic fate and the impact on her family highlight the importance of early interventions and support networks to prevent similar incidents from occurring, emphasizing the crucial need for healthy co-parenting relationships, particularly for the well-being of children. The heartbreak of Alana Gallen's story is compounded by the echoes of what could have been. Her family, deeply affected by her untimely departure, faces a steep path towards healing and rebuilding their lives. The community's outpouring of support demonstrates a shared understanding of the hardships faced by the Gallen family and the desire to contribute positively to King's future. The tragic incident underscores the necessity for identifying warning signs and intervening to prevent such grievous acts. Such events have a lasting impact on mental health, necessitating support and resources to help the family navigate the aftermath. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.